Hey Gemini, I hope you guys are all doing great. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can book a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box, or you can check out one of your other signs. So let's see, what's going on with Gemini? What is the overall energy? All right, and we have healing, okay. So that's actually very, very positive for you, Gemini. Um, either you or another person that you might be dealing with is healing or possibly even the connection itself is healing between the two of you. So let's get into it and see. All right, do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because it's a general reading. Well, let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for you first two weeks of December? All right, so for the situation, all right, we have the Hierophant starting off the reading. That is Taurus energy crossed by the Seven of Swords. For the recent past, we have the Two of Swords. For the near future, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, um, for your energy, the Nine of Cups, for them, the Tower. For you, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. For them, the Five of Cups. And the potential outcome here, we have the Knight of Wands. All right, okay, so this person is definitely going through a very, very, very difficult time here, Gemini, whoever it is that you're dealing with, all right, unless the roles are reversed. Um, there's... And I'm starting off with them just because it's like, it just feels so dramatic, whatever it is that they're going through, all right? Having the Tower and the Five of Cups. It could be that there is a lot of regret about the past and it feels like that could be, it could be something that is happening now, which is making them realize that with the Tower. Um, but definitely also a huge sense of loss, a lot of grief that this person is going through. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, so for the situation, this could be representing a, a commitment between you and, and another person. And it's coming off as something really, really strong. Like for some of you, it could even be a marriage or maybe there is marriage involved. Um, and there's been some deceit here. Okay. So it could be, you know, um, somebody having been unfaithful, for example, or it could be just somebody um, sneaking away from a commitment, sneaking away from actually committing and from actually making this more official or taking it to the next level. Um, but it's still deceptive because it's going against what they would feel, okay, whether this is you or them. Um, in the recent past, there was, yeah, definitely, I feel like this is more of like a disagreement between the two of you where you know, one person wanted one thing, the other person wanted something else, or there just was not a match here in something you were not, you were not able to come to some kind of an agreement. Um, the interesting thing, though, is that I see you being in quite the opposite type of a space than they are in. Um, you're... I feel like you're, you're feeling okay. You're feeling okay with your own self. I feel like you're trying to get back on the right path here when it comes to your own life and to your own happiness. I do also get that, you know, there are emotions here that you have for this person. And I feel like you're just kind of taking your time. You're just taking your time. You're being cautious and just trying to get on the right path for you. I'm not sure if you know exactly what that is, but that's okay because I feel like you are healing through this. So coming up in the near future with the Six of Cups, that definitely could be talking about a reconciliation. And then with the Knight of Wands in the potential outcome, there is some fiery action. So yeah, let's clarify and see what all this is about. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, so let's see the Hierophant with the Seven of Swords. All right, 
the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, so that's Virgo energy also showing up, and the Knight of Pentacles showing up again. Huh. I feel like there's a shift here. There's a shift happening which is kind of throwing both of you into... Um, into self-introspection. Something, something has happened here. Something has definitely happened which has turned the wheel. So something has shifted within this connection. And whatever that is, it's something again that was one person either being deceptive or just avoiding, avoiding a commitment, moving away from the commitment or just deceiving it, being sneaky in, in one way or another. And this has led to a change in the dynamic where I do feel like there has been some kind of a split. And I do feel like trust has been compromised here. Let's see that Nine of Cups in your energy. Justice, the Devil, ooh, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so we have Libra also showing up here as well as Capricorn. Okay, so a whole bunch of signs um, showing up. All right, so here's the thing with you, Gemini. You you do have emotions for this person, right? Um, you do feel like this person gives you. There's just some pleasure you find in this connection. And even though you would want this connection, and I feel like you feel tempted. I feel like because the position that this person appears to be in, I feel like almost like you feel like you could actually um, engage with them if you wanted to. All right, I don't see this as this person ghosting you. So, but again, rules can be reversed or, you know, if it's, if it's not your story, then that's okay too. Um, you, it's like that temptation is there. And I feel like it does cross your mind, you know, to indulge or to give in to it. But you have justice here, which is telling me that to you doing the right thing and doing whatever is best for you actually wins here. Like that is stronger than that temptation. Or it could just be that you feel tempted to, you know, communicate with this person. Um, but then there's that side of you that's saying, no, no, <laughs> you know, don't do that. You have to have your self-respect. You know, you have to make the right decision here. Let's see. And I do see you doing that with the Knight of Pentacles. And you would know what is the right decision and what isn't. So let's see the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's there. Like, the, the attraction is there. Um, that magnetism is there. The passion is there. It's all there. Like, you know, you there is that side of you that wants it, but then we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up again. Uh, not again, but similarly to Justice, reminding you that your self-care is more important. And it's almost like... You know, if this is something that has happened before, I feel like you're getting reminders telling you, you know, remember what happened last time? You know, you can't repeat the same type of a dynamic again, or you can't have the same reaction again. You can't make the same decision again if, if it didn't work out in the past, like something needs to be done differently. And I feel like that is a part of your healing here. And so you are getting on a different path here. You're getting on a new path. And it doesn't necessarily mean um, that it's over with this person. I don't, I don't know that, right? And it, it's going to depend on everybody's situation. It's not all the same. This is not necessarily somebody having been unfaithful, okay? It could be a number of things. 
So don't be quick to judge, <laughs> all right? Other people's situations here. It could be anything and you would know best. But what I do see being a common theme though for whoever this reading might be resonating for is that you don't want to repeat some kind of a decision that you made in the past. You don't want to give in to some kind of a temptation too soon when things are not ready or when things are not balanced or fair just yet. So let's see what's going on with this person. And I definitely feel like there are a lot of lessons here, especially um, with this Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. And I feel like those lessons are actually for the both of you. And it's just throwing the both of you on the right path here. Either for there to be an alignment between the two of you or for each of you um, to actually find that on your own. So let's see the tower. Okay. Ooh, the lovers, the queen of swords. Ooh, we got a lot here. Um, didn't realize it was so many. And then we have the star, the seven of pentacles, and the page of wands. So you need a psych here, Gemini. Well, this is, first of all, this is you showing up in this person's energy, like very, very strongly, okay, Gemini, with the lovers, as well as with the queen of swords. Um, we also have Aquarius showing up here. Definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with. <laughs> um, so we have so many signs that have showed up here. So yeah, this person, the tower that they're going through, it is 100% related to you, all right, and to this connection. And this is definitely a connection that they're feeling very, very strongly about. I'm not so sure, you know, for some of you, how much they had realized this before. But currently with this tower, they are having a lot of clarity over how they feel about this connection. And it's very, very strong, right? They want, they want this very, very badly with the star being here. It's something that they are really wishing for. And I feel like part of what it is that they are learning here is that <clears throat> there are consequences for their own actions. Like the fact that this has not blossomed or worked out in a way where it would be, you know, successful, happy, <clears throat> is because of the Seven of Pentacles, is that, you know, they're pretty much getting, um, what's the expression, you reap what you sow, and that's pretty much it, you know, it's like whatever they gave, that's what they're getting back now. I feel like they're actually getting it back um, <laughs> in a very, very difficult way. So yeah, there is, um, it's like a huge wake up call here for them. I feel like they're also realizing something, whatever it is that may have happened here um, was immature. So yeah, I do mostly see, I see this main situation here being them. All right, again, unless the roles are reversed. Just had the magician a lot as well yeah so I do feel like they want to do something about it especially with that page of wands I feel like they don't really know exactly what to do but they're feeling that drive they're feeling that motivation it's like a new spark coming up um, realizing how much they want this and how strong of a connection this actually is let's see the five of cups Hierophant showing up again, the Fool, and oh, there's so many here, and we have like so many major arcana cards. Um, there was another sign that got like a whole bunch of them too. I can't remember which one it was though. Um, all right, so Hierophant, the Fool, the Hanged Man, as well as the King of Cups. Okay, so Taurus is showing up again. Um, I'm also picking up on Aries. Could be any sign, obviously. There's a lot of grief, possibly guilt as well, um, over this connection, over whatever it is that has happened in this connection. I feel like this person may have acted impulsively, 
about something here. They either acted impulsively or they hesitated to take action, keeping, keeping the connection stuck, basically. Even though there is love here. See, that's the thing. And otherwise, they wouldn't even be going through this tower. But this person does hold a lot of love for you. There are a lot of deep emotions here. Um, but I feel like this person either was holding back on that or they, they did something very, um, again, impulsive. Which, you know, if this is something that has happened or has been happening, like as a pattern, it does keep the relationship stuck or the connection stuck. And so, yeah, like there's a lot of regret concerning that, whatever it is that they, that they had been doing. Let's see the Six of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely action here. Um, definitely a lot of action. There might be some ego attached to this action. Like, I feel like this person is going to try to come back in. Um, really wanting to go after their wish fulfillment, which we already know is you, right? They have this that star here. And I feel like they're going to be really determined to win. But I don't know if it's going to be rushed. It feels a little bit rushed. It feels like it's going to be a little bit um, impulsive or like just very, um, I almost want to say reckless. And I feel I, it's coming in like that's going to be like a defense mechanism, like coming, like coming in like overly confident, like this is what I want, you know, um, I don't know if they're going to apologize, it's not really showing up, but definitely there's some kind of an attempt for a reconciliation here. And it's, yeah, it's like there's going to be a bit of a self-defense mechanism attached to that. So that could be why it's a little bit rushed. Like, I don't know if this person is going to fully, you know, um, express themselves like very openly and, and maturely. Because then we also have the Knight of Wands for the potential outcome, which is kind of in line with what I'm just saying. So let's see, Knight of Wands. All right, and we have the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords showing up again, and then the Page of Swords. Um, yeah, because you know what the thing is, is that I feel like you're going to feel like, you know, you have you have healed more than this person. That's what it's going to feel like to you. Like, it's not going to feel balanced, the amount of healing that you have done in comparison to this person. And so I feel like you're going to feel a clash. Like, you you would want them to come in in a little bit of a more mature, stable, grounded type of a way. And I feel like that's kind of lacking from the way that this person is going to come in. Um, I don't see them being deceitful. I actually do see honesty, both with the Knight of Swords as well as with the Page of Swords. But, you know, so their intentions are good and, and you, you will know that but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to trust um, that they have actually healed or actually changed their behavior. Um, although, you know, the tower does have the tendency to do that. It does have the tendency to change us, but maybe, maybe a little bit more time is required for this person or maybe just some more lessons. I don't know, you will be the judge of that, but that's, that's what I'm seeing here. This person will try and you might not feel like they are 100% where you would want them to be. So, uh, let's get the final oracle message for you, if this resonated. All right, final message for Gemini. All right, and we have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So yeah, you might not know what is coming up. You might not know what's going to end up happening with this person. 
um, you know, further down the line, but that's okay. You are where you need to be. There is healing that is happening here, all right, in this connection. So yeah, that is it, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and much love.